We have found one of the coolest places we have ever stayed. We're here in the little tiny town of Washington, Arkansas. We're staying here because tomorrow we're going to Crater of Diamonds State Park and we needed a place to stay and when I saw this online, I just had to try it. It's incredible. This is called Coulter Farmstead in Washington, Arkansas. This is a pre-Civil War farm. And so, oh my goodness, it used to be abandoned and it's been restored and we want to show you the inside. Okay, you're taking too long. We've got to show okay. them. So we got to show them. I'm so excited. Wow, look at this. Wait, now wait, don't go up yet. It's a barn. We're staying in a barn. We're gonna sit, we're gonna take you inside. You're gonna check that out. But but first, we are surrounded by critters. Let's go see the pigs. Let's go see the pigs. They have a great little place to live. They go swimming in there. Nice mud to Is that what they do? I don't know. Let's go look at the goats. They were chasing each other. And look at this little garden right here. This is so Do you know how I know it's a garden? Because it tells you. It says garden. This property is so This property is amazing. And so there's actually, there's more, it's big and spacious and there's more cool uh, cabins and there's a pool. We'll show you the pool in a little bit. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Ah! <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. And there was a mercantile. Did you say that when we first came in? Oh, a mercantile incredible, so huge. To buy snacks for your stay or even on for your stay, you can do that. There she is, the winner. Okay, let's go say hi to the goats real quick. So we've got more property over here, more buildings that you can stay in. And in town, they said this was the Confederate, um, what, headquarters? Uh, capital, I capital not, whatever. I don't remember exactly, but I, they said something about Davy Crockett. Saying yeah, and, and so much. And the Bowie knife was made here. Hi. Hello. How do you call uh, goats over? There's a bunch of them way out there. Goat! 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 All right, so this is a restored barn. All these are restored buildings. And we'll take you inside. Yeah, there's several buildings on here to, that you are able to rent. And so this is the one that we chose, and it's Sleep Six. It's pretty cool. It's got two lofts, so the girls get a loft, Jet gets a loft, and then we get like the rest of the main area. Has so much character. Look at this. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. So this is where we will sleep. And then we've got all these adorable sitting areas. We've got a kitchen, a little eating area. And then the kids, they get their lofts. Isn't that fun? There's one loft there. And there's one loft there. Play. Books to read. Yeah. And look at this adorable bathroom. Like the shower is adorable. It's like a horse trough. <laughs> look at that. You're in a horse trough. Isn't that fun? Wow. Right. So now we're we're gonna get ready and go to the pool, and then we can show them the pool later. Yeah. This is so fun. It's just so fun. Books and games and sitting areas and just so much to see and look at and the history is so amazing so we took our scooters from the farmstead into town because the entire little town of Washington is a historic state park and there's all these historic buildings everywhere there's a, a candy a, a candle shop this is a historic courthouse there's churches an old post office it's so cool it's like you just stepped into a history book, right? Yeah. So neat. So we're just kind of exploring all the little historic buildings right now in this town.
Wow. That looks awesome in there. This is so cool just to stay at this farmstead and be able to like, come in here and see all this historic stuff. Yeah, it's an old courthouse. Oh, cool. Restored. That is so neat. And here is a historic sign. So Washington, Arkansas was the Confederate capital. Kind of cool, that building right there was the Confederate headquarters for the entire war. Wow. That is amazing. We love history, huh? We do. I, I just love historic buildings. I love kind of taking that step back in time. Uh, the kids aren't as appreciative of it, but I still think one day they will be. Yeah. Like, you know, they can see the history of it and how it was built. Hey, they said the largest magnolia, was it magnolia tree? Yeah, two in the, in, block in, magnolia trees here in Washington. In the world. So yep. We'll have to find it. I'm sure it's out here somewhere. And one of the seven moon trees, seeds that went to the moon, it's planted here. And this town is just right up the hill from where we're staying. So yeah. we could have walked it. We had our scooters, so that made it even easier. Why walk when you have scooters? Yeah. So here's this largest magnolia tree. Wow. Planted in 1839. It is huge. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh look, it's held up by like steel beams. Yeah. Parts of it. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Branching out like all over. Wow. What a cool little town, Amy, that you discovered, huh? I know we kind of just stumbled onto this, but what a um, great way. Whoa, there's a big old spider web right there. Do you see it? Oh my goodness, you're right. And there's a wee little spider right there. <laughs> Made a big old web. I know we just kind of stumbled upon this, but what a great way to spend you know, an evening just for free discovering all this historic stuff. It's so fun. Amazing. So we've got the old blacksmith shop over there. And then check out this building. I can't believe we only get to spend a few hours here. It's a town of what, population 180, we saw the sign. And I never ever would have known that this was here, but it's like we're just stepping into this historic village and we have it all to ourselves. It's amazing. It would be so cool to be able to get in inside, huh? This is where the first Bowie knife was made. That's amazing. The history, Amy. What's a Bowie knife? <laughs> That's a certain kind of knife. My mom would ring that, and when I heard it in the neighborhood, I knew it was time to come home. courthouse visitor center so and others say that this is free no ticket required so some of them you can get in totally free or you can just go around the town like we did or if you want to go inside more of the buildings you can get a ticket in the old courthouse which will allow you entry to see a lot more yeah and actually we are staying right at the bottom right over that hill that's how close yeah, we are you can literally walk into this cute little town from where we're staying this is just amazing. So this was is a replica of the original post office that used to stand right here during the 19th century. So what a cool, cool town. I mean, so much We've got old church over here. And then we just, we've seen tons and tons of historic homes that we drove by. Just an amazing place, an old cemetery. Wow, what a cool town. But now we're gonna get back and we're gonna go swimming back at the farmstead.
check out this old train depot. And here comes a train. I love trains. I love trains. It's just beautiful. I love it, love it. Those of you that watch my Silver Dollar City videos or see my Silver Dollar City photos, you know that I take a lot of pics and video of the train there. All right, so this is the uh, Wolf Mercantile. We were in here earlier, they're, they're closed now, and I think they're gonna be closed when we leave in the morning. And it's huge, and it's got so much cool stuff inside. So I'm gonna maybe peek through the window here. He says they're restoring one more. Let me take a peek over here real quick. One more historic building, and I don't know which one it is, but you can see they've got more over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. They've got one there and one over there. And uh, these are all historic buildings. This one was established in 1871. What a cool town. This is cool. I'm, I, boy, I sure wish we could stay here longer. But let's take a peek in the, uh, in the window here. And they're all closed up. There you go, you can get a good view. Tons of stuff to eat in there. We got us a frozen dinner that we're gonna cook tonight. A lot of old time sodas and things like that. But uh, I had to stop and see the train. Amy went ahead of me to go uh, get ready for swimming. Which the swimming pool is right there. How's the water? It's cold when you first get It's not that cold. You get used to it pretty quick. It's a nice pool, huh? under attack by a horse fly. And so, uh, quite a dramatic turn of events here in Washington, Arkansas. But I've had to uh, dive under the water multiple times. Hi. Are we gonna make it? Is this for Toys of the Realm? Toys of the Realm. <laughs> that was a great video series. It was. It was. Look it up, yeah. Toys of the Realm on YouTube. Farmstead and we are headed out. This is one of the most unique, most amazing places we have ever stayed. The farmstead itself, the animals, the experience, the barn, and of course the great town of Washington, which was so interesting, so full of history. If you ever have the chance to stay in Washington, Arkansas, you're coming to Crater Diamond State Park. This is a 40 minute drive from there, but it is worth the extra time because it's incredible. All right, thank you for following along and safe travels, everyone.